Shocking revelation. Obasanjo drops Bonche vows to testify in court over this. This is mind blowing. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The former Nigerian president, Urishegu Obasanjo, recently made a resolute declaration affirming his readiness to testify in court regarding an alleged 2.3 billion naira fraud. Obasanjo's commitment to stand before the court signals a pivotal moment in the ongoing investigation, offering a potential turning point in the pursuit of justice. As a, re a reverend figure in Nigerian politics, Obasanjo's willingness to testify holds significant weight. His, his statement reflects not only a sense of accountability, but also a dedication to upholding the principles of transparency and integrity within the nation's governance. Given his extensive experience and knowledge of the inner workings of the Nigerian government, his testimony could provide invaluable insight into the alleged fraudulent activities. This development marks a crucial moment in the fight against corruption in Nigeria. The readiness of such a prominent figure to engage with the legal process demonstrates the necessity and strength of the country's judicial system. It aligns the importance of individuals regardless of their their, their, their structure, their structure, their status, being held accountable for their actions, thereby fostering a culture of accountability and trust among citizens. Obasanjo's offers to testify also serves as a catalyst for ensuring that justice prevails. This cooperation can potentially expedite the legal proceedings, bringing the case closer to resolution. Furthermore, it sets a precedent for other public figures to actively participate in legal proceedings when called upon, reinforcing the idea that no one is above the law. While this declaration by Obasanjo is a significant step forward, it is essential to recognize that the legal process must unfold independently and fairly the judiciary should continue to operate impartial, impartially, allowing all evidence and testimonies to be thoroughly examined to ensure a just outcome. In essence, Obasanjo's expressed willingness to testify in court signifies a pivotal moment in Nigeria's fight against corruption. It underlines the importance of collaboration between prominent figures and the judiciary system fostering a climate of accountability and transparency necessary for a striving democratic society. So guys, what's your take on this? The former Nigerian president, Tulishegu Obrasenjo, has exp expressed his preparedness to provide testimony in favor of Nigerian regarding the contentious 2.3 billion Malabila power contract involving the former Minister of Power and Sea, Olu Ogulaye. The dispute has unfolded at the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC, in Paris, France, where Sunrise Power and Nigeria find themselves at odds over the alleged breach of contract. Sunrise Power contends that it was granted a six billion dollars contracts to construct operate and transfer in may 2003 under the administration of the former president ulishigu obasanjo accusing the federal government of nigeria of repudiating the agreement the sunrise power is seeking compensation amounting to 2.3 billion the company asset that it has already invested millions of dollars in financial and legal 
consultant before the contract was abandoned. In response, the Nigerian government defended its position by alleging fraud and corruption involving public officials in the contract award. The illegal proceedings have gained momentum with both parties presenting their cases at the ICC. Notably, in a later address to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif, the legal representative for the Nigerian government, Obasanjo conveyed his willingness to provide testimony on behalf of Nigeria in any form. This development had a significant dimension to the legal battle as a former head of state signs his readiness to contribute to the case. Obasanjo's offer to testify underscores the gravity of the matter and the potential impacts on Nigerians' reputation. His involvement not only introduces a high-profile witness, but also signals a commitment to upholding transparency and accountability in the nation's dealings, particularly in matters of international contracts and agreements. As the legal proceedings unfold, the Ma Bella Power contract dispute serves as a physical point for examining the complicit surrounding legal scale infrastructure projects and the challenges associated with their execution. The contrasting narratives from Sunrise Power and the Nigerian government underscores the need for a thorough examination of con contractual obligations, alleged breaches, and the role of public officials in such agreements. In conclusion, the involvement of the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, as a potential witness, injects a new layer of significance into the Mabela power contract dispute. The legal proceedings at the ICC will likely continue to unfold as both parties present their cases, shedding light on the intricacies of alleged breach and border implications for Nigerians' repetition in international business dealings. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.